today I, I have a small video this is gonna be I'm just gonna go over a small problem I'm not even sure if that is a problem at all and then I'm gonna show you how to fix that so if you're using react this might help you uh, let me show you quickly I have a uh, I went over this blog today I saw these all these websites use uh, that were built using react uh, let me close these first okay so the first one is Adderall okay and then Airbnb and I also came across uh, I think uh, Netflix yeah okay so this website Adderall I don't know what it is but it's built using react if I inspect this I don't see the Chrome dev tools okay now if I go back to this one uh, the Airbnb if I inspect this one I can see the Chrome Dev Tools, the components, and the profiler here. So this is built using React, and this is uh, they've also exposed the Chrome Dev Tools, where users can go and see all the states and everything declared within the app. Okay, and the same way uh, we can see the components for this Netflix as well. It's huge. Uh, we can still see it. So that's why I'm saying I'm not sure if this is a problem. So, but what I like to do is if I'm deploying a website, I want to make sure the end users don't get to see this. So let me go ahead and give you a demo how to disable this. So basically, I have this small app with two states: email and name. Michael Scott is the name and test at gmail.com is email. And this is the uh, the small app. Let me go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and deploy this uh, I'm gonna rebuild this okay let's rebuild and then deploy it on Netlify as soon as it is done uh, yeah it's done now okay let me drag and drop it on the deploy window okay let's see it's just a uh, just a react app I haven't changed anything I just added two states name and email that's it it's already published open this copy the URL go back to Chrome open that now what's interesting is if I inspect this one I can see my components I can see my email and I can see the pass I'm sorry the name and email so my goal in this video is to show you how to disable this for your production build so if I'm deploying a website I don't want to I don't want people to see these things the component the profiler I don't want them to see it I don't know how big of a problem it is even if it is a problem at all but it just still makes me feel you know a little like iffy about it like okay I have an app in deployment in production and why would people want to see why should I expose something that the end users are not supposed to see or know about right so if you're feeling the same way you can probably disable this as well so my goal here is to show you how to disable this basically so to do that it's just three lines of code we have to uh, install a package disable react uh, dev tools this package okay and then we have to specify if this is a production build you can do that for your uh, development build as well but I'm sure you're going to need the dev tools in the development build but for production you probably want to disable this so just tell your app that okay this is a production build you have an uh, env file and you specify your environment okay and then you run this uh, method or the function within this package if it's a production build just run this disable uh, disable react dev tools what it does is the only goal of this package is to disable dev tools for your production build that's all it does now to show you exactly it does that I'll have to go ahead and rebuild it again and once it is done I'll redeploy and show you that it's gone you cannot see the components or profiler anymore it will do the job of disabling the dev tools mm, let's redeploy quickly go back go to deploys drag and drop uh, oh. okay Employees. it's processing done published open it copy and I'll go back to let me go back to Chrome open it now let's see the magic okay now I don't see the Chrome dev tools I don't see the components I don't see the profiler anymore 
so this small package the node package disable react dev tools all it does is just disable the components and profiler meaning the dev tools for your production build that's all it does uh, I think that's it this was a small video I'm not even sure if you want to do it if it's a problem you can expose your states on your app no one's gonna go looking for it maybe somebody does but I don't know if it's a problem or if it is a problem if how serious it is but again thank you so much for watching you can go ahead and like and subscribe if you like this video thank you so much